Hello world! Welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the general skills challenge, Ben Hexa. Let's get into it. How well can you perform basic binary operations? Start searching for the flag here. And they give us a netcat portal to connect to, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, welcome to the binary challenge. Your task is to perform the unique operations in the given order and find the final result in hexadecimal that yields the flag. They give us two binary numbers here. And our first operation is performing a right shift of binary number two by one bit. Alright, so let's pull out a notepad document here because we'll do this in notepad to kind of visualize it. So we have 01010001 and we have 11000111. And our first step is doing a right shift. So we're going to essentially shift all these bits to the right. And this bit will trail off. And then the least significant bit will become a zero. So that'll look like 01100111. And that should be the answer to our first question. Let me zoom in for y'all. There we go. All right. Our next question asks us to perform the AND operation on binary number 1 and 2. We can just get rid of the previous answer. So 0 and 1 is 0. 1 and 1 is 1. 0 and 0 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. 1 and 0, 0, and then 1 and 1 is 1. So that should be our next binary answer. And now it's asking us to perform the OR operation on binary numbers 1 and 2. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll do 0 or 1 is 1, 1 or 1 is 1, 0 or 0 is 0, 1 or 0 is 1, 0 or 0 is 0, 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, and 1 or 1 is 1. So this should be the answer to our next question. So our next question asks us to perform an add operation on binary numbers 1 and 2. So we just need to add the two numbers together. The easiest way to go about doing this is converting them to decimal and then adding them together and then converting them back to binary. So our first number is going to be 64 plus 6 which is 80 plus 1 is 81 so that should be 81 and then our second number is 1 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 all right, our next one is, that's 128 plus 64, which should be 192 plus 4, which is 196, plus 2, which is 198, plus 1, which is 199. So that should be 199. And if we add those two numbers together, we get a whopping 280. So we'll have to add an extra 1, right? Because all these added together would be 256. So we'll need a 256 bit, right? Because 280 is higher than 256. So that'll be 256. And then plus 128 would be too much. Plus 64 would be too much. Plus 32 would be too much. Plus 16. Now we're talking. So 256 plus 16 is 272. Plus 8 is 280. That should be our binary number for this next one. Now we need to perform a left shift of binary one by one bit. Okay, so for this one, we need to do a left shift of this. So zero gets pushed off, and then that's one, zero, one, zero, 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 and then a zero takes up the least significant bit right there, and then we'll copy that. I might have that backwards, and I'm sorry if I do. It's either most or least significant bit. And then we'll paste that in, submit that. Our final question is perform the multiplication operation on binary numbers 1 and 2. So we're going to do 81 times 199, and for this one we're just going to use a calculator to do this because it's going to take too long to do it by hand. In Windows, you can actually change what kind of calculator you're using. We're using the programmer one because that gives you binary, oct, and hex, and decimal options, as well as bitwise shifts and all kinds of things. 
So we're going to do 81 times 199, like so. And then this would be our binary value right here. So this would be the answer to our question. So we'll copy that and paste that in and we'll get rid of the oh, crap. Okay, never mind. We'll type it in. And we'll submit that. And then all we have to do is enter the last operation in hexadecimal, which we have the value right here. But how you go about doing that is each set of four in the binary, you would convert to a hexadecimal character. So 0011 would be three. 1110 would be E, right? Because as soon as you hit 10 in hex, you assign the values 10 through 15 to A through F. So 1110 would be 14, which would effectively be E. And then 1111 would be F. And then 0111 would be 7. So our hexadecimal ends up being 3 E F 7. And there's our flag. Bitwise operation successful. So we'll copy that, paste it in, and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections and cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.